Hey everyone, it's uh, Steve Stewart uh, once again walking around the Hollywood uh, Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California. The last time I was here, I wasn't able to get a very good video of Estelle Getty's uh, uh, tombstone and grave, so I wanted to come back and try again. Unfortunately, I purchased a, a new lapel microphone and it really wasn't uh, working very well. So I apologize in advance if it sounds like I'm whispering or mumbling through uh, half of the, uh, the video. The first time I ever saw Stel Getty was in um, Harvey Firestein's Torch Song Trilogy on Broadway. And um, this was, gosh, I think it was in the 1980s. Possibly 90s. No, I think it was. It must have been the, the 1980s, and um, she was fantastic then. And then a number of years later, she uh, turned up on the uh, the Golden Girls, and uh, that of course was a really fun show. And uh, I still watch it uh, sometimes today. Still catch it in uh, reruns. And uh, so I thought I would uh, come and see her grave. Um, I tried to uh, view it the last time I was here, but I was here so early the sun was behind it. So if you want to see it and get a picture, come in the afternoon. It's still only around 12.30 right now, so it's still a little bit in uh, shadow. But um, if you come in the afternoon, you'll get a better picture. So this street behind her uh, headstone is uh, the street that you come in on. So you just, it's uh, all the way at the end of the street there. You just come down right here and park and uh, here you are. It's very easy to find. So of the Golden Girls, uh, she is the only one that has a grave. Um, Rue McClanahan and uh, uh, B. Arthur were both cremated. And of course, uh, Betty White is still alive. So. Um, there's only one golden girl to, uh, to visit, and she's here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery with dozens and dozens and dozens of other well-known people. And you can even see the um, Paramount sign. Well, I guess it depends on the angle. I can't see from here, but uh, <laughs> but you can see it. It's it's that that uh, wall there actually, that building. That's uh, Paramount Studios. And this mausoleum straight ahead here is uh, where Judy Garland is now uh, entombed. She has a, a tomb in the mausoleum. She was just moved from New York just uh, a couple of months ago, and. Uh, so there's lots of uh, famous uh, neighbors here for uh, Estelle Getty. I'm looking for the Paramount sign. There it is. So I don't know if Estelle ever worked for Paramount, but I know many of the people here in the cemetery did. So you can see she's under a nice tree in a great spot. So uh, sadly, I never thought the next time I would see her in person would be at the cemetery. I would much rather be watching her on Broadway again. She was fantastic. She really stole the show, and that's a tough thing to do uh, with Harvey Firestein as the lead. So in case you missed how to find her grave, you just uh, enter the uh, cemetery gates, go straight back, you'll pass two streets, and it's right after the second street on the right hand side you'll see a hedge and it's the headstone that rises above the head. So if you're also a fan of Estelle Getty and the Golden Girls, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section. And as always, thanks again for watching.